and welcome to my studio. Thank you so much for joining me today. Currently we are working on alcohol inks techniques. So let's get started with one of our videos. Let's do a flower scene and we're going to use our flower scene and use it with splat splatters to kind of create the flower in the grass. And I'm going to start with just adding a little bit of grass right here so I don't have to worry about it all showing all the way through here when I blow it. I'm going to put my green on and I'm going to try to blow it with my straw in the direction I want it to go and hold your gourd or your piece whatever you're using in that direction as well. I've got to really work against this one because we're kind of going up against a bump here. And we don't want this, now if I was doing a regular splat, I'd splat that some more, but I don't want that splattered anymore because this is supposed to be more like grass, so. Our stems for our flowers. And get some darker ones in here with our darker color as well. That one was botanical and this one is bottle green. And I'm probably blowing it a little bit less than if I was doing a splat. So we've kind of got some over here. I don't want to do too much. And you could do less on that if you decided that you wanted less, however you want to do that. And we'll talk about if we, where we want a flower. We'll paint a stem up there, but we've got three of them that we could do here as well. I'm going to pour some of my alcohol ink into my metal, metal mixture palette. And we're going to use a rake brush. And this rake brush is already stained from using it before. And I'm just going to pull this out and make my flower. So however you want to make your flower. And I'm going to do one on the other side. I'm going to probably do him right there. We're going to pull his grass up to him and just leave him like that. So we've got that. Now to clean the brush out and your metal, you're going to spray that with your alcohol. And remember we're using the 91%. We're going to clean this all out really, really well. I'm going to spray it directly onto my brush. And as well as wipe that out really well. Otherwise it stays in there. Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit of a stem. I just need enough to bring that up into from the grass into the flower. And I'm going to use a mini paintbrush. And your craft suppliers have that. We're just going to pull him right up into our flower. And that way we have our little stem. We're going to clean him the same way. Now I'm going to take another color and I'm just going to kind of drop that in there. And I'm keeping it kind of flat. You don't want that to get away from you. If it starts to get away from you, then you can uh, hit it with your cotton rounds. But I just kind of want to make that a little bit of a flower. If you want to pull that out just a tad, you can. We don't want to go into that next layer though. We want to kind of keep that all together there. Remember this is supposed to look real abstract. It's not supposed to be perfect flower. 
That guy's getting a little bit away from me. So I'll do this again right here. And these guys are getting away from me over here. <laughs> That's the great thing about leaving it in. So you can see if I screw it up, eh, you can fix it too. So how I'm going to fix that is I'm going to go back to my original color. I'm going to do that underneath again. In that area that I had those. Now I'm going to add a little bit of yellow in that very middle. And if it starts to take off on you and you want to stop it, just put it with that even heat gun or embossing tool. Isn't that kind of cool? Just gives it a little bit of a different look and you could play with it just a little bit if you wanted to put another color right in the middle of that. Or if you wanted to do just do a couple from the middle and pull it out. That's everything is up to you. Like I said, just experiment, play with it, just have fun with it. Don't be stuck on everything I'm showing you, but create your own rules. That's what's so great about the alcohol inks. Just however you think that they need to go. So that's kind of another fun way to experiment with and try different things with and, and see what you like on that. Thank you so much for watching our video today. One of the great sources for alcohol inks is BlueWellArts.com as well as your local scrapbooking section, so check those out. This is one of many of the alcohol inks techniques that we are currently doing, so make sure you check out all of our others. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be one of the first to be notified when they are out. God bless. Thank you.